Hi everyone, welcome to today's session and this is your teacher Nana and welcome to Suflon. Suflon is India's most sincere learning destination for the classes 1 to 10. Here we are providing 100% live and interactive classes and personalized attention batch with maximum 6 students. And we have a dedicated academic mentor team to track and work on students' progress. And we cover the syllabus as per the exam schedule and we are also handling custom requests. So these are our key features such as detailed progress report, detailed progress report, Suflon academic test series and you can take unlimited practice tests from Suflon. And we have the subjective test for school exams as well. So why are you waiting? Let's book your free trial class today itself and get ready to enjoy the art of learning with Suflon. And if you are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will never miss any important updates from Suflon. And today we are going to explore about the skeletal system part 2. And these are the learning objectives of today's session. The skeletal system, major bones and their functions, importance of bones, importance of joints, muscles, care of bones, muscles and joints. So these are the things which we will learn within this chapter. Alright. So in this previous class, we learned about the skeletal system, skull, limbs, backbone, rib cage and jawbone. So in this class, let's learn about joints. Look at the door. You can see that it's moving back and forth. And how is this possible? This is possible because of the hinge joint. So the hinge joint makes back and forth movement possible. Right? Yes. Just like this, in our human body, we have a lot of joints. That's why you are able to walk, run, move your hands, rotate your legs and move your hips. Everything is possible. All this because of the joints. Alright. So, what is the joint? That is a relevant question. So, joint is the place where two or more jo bones join together and joint is the place where two or more bones join together. Yes, all right. But how are they held together? They need something, right? And that is known as the ligaments. Ligaments are the strong tissues, right? Which will help them to hold together. They are held together by the strong tissue which is known as ligaments. Look at this one. The ligaments are over there and which helps for the strong connection. And uh, look at this guy. He is walking, he is jumping, he can move his hands and everything is all possible because of the joints. Right? We can bend our body parts and move it. Right? Yes. And the types of joints can be divided into two categories such as movable joints and immovable joints. So these are the two categories of the joints. Movable and also immovable. So can you name any movable joint? And that is your? Yes. All right. Movable joints are bone and socket joint, right? And pivotal joint, hinge joint, gliding joint. All these joints can be moved. They can move. Hinge joint allows back and forth movement in one direction only, just like the door. Shoulder is a bendiest joint in the human body. Now, let's learn about some of the hinge joint body parts. Bowl and socket joint. Bowl like end of the bone fits into a cup like socket of the other. You can see that it's like a bowl and this one looks like a socket. And they fits together, right? That is why which is known as bowl and socket joint. Okay, so, can you give me some examples for the bowl and socket joint? Can you? Yes. So, bone and socket joint like shoulder and hip joints, which allows the movement in all one direction. 
So let's search some exercise with the pivot joint. Do you know what is meant by pivot joint? Pivot joint means the joints allows only rotation, just like your head and neck joint, right? There is a joint between your head and neck. That's why you can rotate your neck clockwise as well as anticlockwise. And uh, rounded surface of the bone fit into a ring formed another bone. So rounded surface of one bone fits into a ring formed by another bone. That is known as the pivot joint. So the example is joint between head and neck. So gliding joint. So bone which glide over each other. Wrist and angles have gliding joint. Observe few joints in our body. Time to explore. There are more than 350 joints in the human body. So what are the importance of the joint? It provides flexibility to the body, allows smooth movement. And uh, do you know, before birth, our skeleton is soft and made up of cartilage. Now we are done with the joints. Now let's learn about the muscles. So skeletal system works coordination with the muscles. So let's learn about some muscles within our body. So what is a muscle? Muscle means the fibrous tissue in the human body, which has ability to contract. So the muscles can contract, right? And it's a fibrous tissue which is present within the human body. So muscles are attached to the bones by fibers called tendons. So tendons help the muscle to be attached with the bones. And the types of muscle, we can divide the muscles into three categories, skeletal muscle, smooth muscle and cardiac muscle. Skeletal, smooth and cardiac. Right? All right. So what is a skeletal muscle? Skeletal muscles are, they are voluntary muscles and they are attached to the bones through the tendon. And uh, Skeletal means the bone. So the muscle attached to the bones with the help of tendon. So examples are muscles of the arms, feet, legs and neck. So these are the examples of the skeletal muscle. All right. Smooth muscle. Small muscles are involuntary muscles present in internal organs such as muscles of the stomach, urinary bladder and intestine. These are the examples of the smooth muscles. It is involuntary muscles. Alright, now let's learn about the cardiac muscles. So, just like the name refers, cardiac means heart. So, the muscles are related to the heart. So, these are involuntary muscles as well. And muscles which makes up the heart. Specialized to perform continuous movement for pumping. So, while pumping, a heart will contract right so the muscles helps for the blood pumping now let's study the importance of the muscles control bones movement provide movement to the internal organs such as pumping of heart by cardiac muscles muscles regulate body heat so these are the main importance of the muscles should we care of bones joints or muscles what do you think of course. So we can take care of joints, bones and muscles through a balanced diet and good posture and exercise. Balanced diet means we have to include the protein, vitamins and minerals which is required for the body functioning, right? Yes. And these are the nutrients we require for the healthy skeletal system. Protein, vitamin D and calcium. And we can find all this nutrients within various food products and the calcium calcium increase strength of the bones and keep muscles active helps in muscle contraction and we can find the calcium within the cheese almond milk leafy vegetables and curd are good source of calcium so let's eat more leafy vegetables and cheese and milk and we can increase the calcium so vitamin D, 
Vitamin D helps the body to absorb calcium of the food. So we need vitamin D. So sun is the greatest source of vitamin D. Apart from that, we can find the vitamin D in the liver oil, caviar, mackerel, salmon, sardines, tuna, mushrooms, raw milks and eggs. So let's eat all those fishes and uh, let's uh, walk under the sunlight, let's get enough sunlight so we can avoid vitamin D deficiency. So protein. Protein is a building block of muscles. Protein is required in the growth of repairing muscles. So major source, cheese, egg, pulses, fish and meat. So let's consume all those things and avoid protein deficiency. So the posture. Position of our body when we stand, sit or lay is a posture. In a good posture, we keep our back straight, puts less pressure on the backbone, which is very essential. Otherwise, we will have cramps and pains with the muscles. Look at this one. We can see good posture and bad posture as well. Is it a good posture? Definitely not. It's not. Is it a good posture? Yes, it's a good posture. Look at this one. Is it a good posture? Definitely not. And is this a good posture? Of course it is, right? Yes. So try not to put a lot of pressure but while bending back because which will lead to the muscle pain and back pain which is not good. And physical activity is also very important for a strong bones, muscles and joints. You can do cycling, swimming, walking and all those things and all the cardio activities which will improve a flexibility and the skeletal system so these are the major bones rib cage skull jaw bone limbs and backbone and major muscles skeletal muscle smooth muscle and cardiac muscles and what are the important joints hinge joint pivot joint ball and socket joint and gliding joint and how we can take care of our muscles and joint to proper diet and posture. So all that right, everyone, we learned all these things today within this chapter. The skeletal system, bones, joint, muscles, care of bones, joints and muscles. So thank you everyone for coming today. I hope you enjoyed the session. If you have any doubts, please comment below or revise this chapter one more time. All right. If you like this channel, please subscribe, press the bell icon and you will miss you will not miss any important updates from us. Thank you everyone for supporting us. Take care. Be safe at home.